Let's take a look at radix sort. Radix sort is a sort that's really um, derived from mechanical sorters of the kind that may be used to sort the mail. For example, every time you send a letter, you write the zip code on it, and the mail gets sorted by a zip code sent to the appropriate area, and then within that area, somebody comes around and delivers the mail to you. The way that mechanical sorters work, we can also basically do the same kind of sort in a radix sort. And so let's take a look. Here's some numbers, and I'm going to use three-digit numbers. So 462, 273, and actually one four-digit number, 1465, 722, and 383. And the way that radix sort works is I create a set of bins. And I'm going to have my bins 0 through 9. And what I'm going to do initially is I'm going to sort my list based on the units number. Okay, So I'm going to do 462 is going to go in the 2 bin. 273 is going to go in the 3 bin, 1465 is going to go in the 5 bin, 722 is going to go in the 2 bin, and 383 is going to go in the 3 bin. Okay. Now I take that list and I rewrite it, so now my list has become 462, 722, 273, 383, 1465. Okay. And I can get rid of the original version of my list. Okay. I rewrite my list based on this sorting. So now it's 722, 462, 1465, 273, and 383. Now I've sorted by the tens bin, I sort it by the hundreds bin. Oops, that's not the hundreds, that's the thousands. So now I've got 722, 462, 1465, 273, and 383. And now... And finally, I sort it by the thousands bin. So none of these have thousands, and so they end up where they are, and 1465. And you can see that I've sorted my list. So what's the complexity? What's the complexity of this search? The complexity of the radix sort is just based on the length of the numbers. In this case, it's 4n. We looked at the zeros, the tens, the hundreds, and the thousands. So in theory, this should be a super quick way to search things. It's n complexity. But in practice, it's actually not a very robust search because you have to copy all of those numbers and then copy them back out, back into the list, and then copy them back into the bins, and then copy them back out again into the list. And so that means that the radix sort is not a very good search because of all that copying. And our computers aren't really set up to move data in that way. 
It's still used for mechanical sorting. It's still how mail, for example, is sorted. But in terms of computing, it's not a very robust sort. Uh, 